Hello YouTube, today I will be doing a video on how to install an app onto your iPhone, iPod or iPad via SSH using Windows SCP or WinSCP. So the first thing you'll need to do is download WinSCP for Windows and there will be a link below for you to download it from. The second thing is you'll need your jailbroken iPad, iPod or iPhone and you'll need to have had Cydia installed on it. Once Cydia is installed you open it up and when it loads you go to search and type in open SSH as you can see just there. When it loads you install open SSH as I have and this will allow you to SSH into your device. Now, for the majority of people, you probably have another program called um, SBS Settings installed. And if you do, bring down SBS Settings and there'll be an SSH button. If not, in the icons, you'll find a single one that says Open SSH. You just tap it once and it'll turn on. It won't say anything. It'll just bring up a window and it'll turn it on. So once SSH is activated, you'll need to go into settings, then Wi-Fi. And once your Wi-Fi network comes down, click on the blue arrow and find your IP address. From that, you type your IP address into host name. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.66. And the port just leave as it is. Username will be out, uh, root, and the password will be Alpine. From that, you simply click login, and it'll take its time, but it'll eventually log in. Now, you may get a window that says, "Are you sure that this is the device you want to connect to?" And if it does, just click yes and continue. So. Now that it's uh, SSH'd into the device, you'll be at root. So you have to go click on this little folder with the up arrow and go all the way out to private and then var. So you then go back into var and you find a folder called TMP. And what you do once you have dot your, T your TMP folder or temporary is you simply drag and drop the Debian file in. So in this case this uk.db was Cydia. So I simply dragged it in and dropped it. Now from that you go up here and you click on the little square black box and this will bring up terminal and with the terminal you will install the file so hopefully your file should have a short name if it doesn't I would advise you to shorten it otherwise this will just be a bit annoying but basically you type into the command box dpkg space minus i space forward slash tmp forward slash in my case uk.deb and I would click execute and this would install the uh, the file now it'll finish off by saying um, processing or installing and literally once it stopped doing anything for about 10 seconds it's finished installing and your app will be on your phone and you don't need to respring your phone or anything the app should s appear to itself however I would say re-spring re your app before you use that app, just in case. And yes, that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching and good luck.